so many things that have been said, so many suggestions, and so Allora, uh, if you can say your name, allora, I start from you, mm -hmm. then the lady there, and you, okay? Okay. Please. Uh, two minutes, please, because the vibe is... Two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. Two minutes? Three. <laughs> so we will finish at the... Okay. Uh, my name is Reza Jabali. I'm a uh, human rights activist uh, with uh, our NGO based on Colin, Germany. <coughs> My question is, uh, how can you make sure that the children, as a matter of fact, both the children and the funds, not uh, ending up in the hands of uh, religious cult and terrorist organization? The reason I'm saying that is uh, during 1996 and 1998, more than 300 children under age of 16 years old sent out from Europe, especially Germany, to uh, Camp Ashraf in Iraq by Iranian Mujahideen. And they were uh, receiving funds uh, from uh, welfare and child benefit. And the interesting part is even after they left Europe, for about six, seven years after that, they were still receiving, this organization were receiving the, the benefit for these children that they were gone seven years before that. So in 2004, the information went out to FBI and uh, Colin police and they find out that that's true. These children are gone and they're getting the money. So how can we make sure that our children not ending up with this terrorist organization? And the worst of all is the leader of this organization, Mariam Rajavi, is coming to this parliament once in a while, hosting by <coughs> MEP and talking about freedom and democracy. Thank you very much. Thank you. We we collect from different